Hi, second grade. It's Mrs. Shook again with our grade two skills. We're on unit one, lesson five. Let's get started. Okay, today you're going to be able to read and produce the following sounds. S, z, m, r, w, y, x, and qu. Then you'll be able to blend, segment, and spell one syllable words with the n and a uh sound, as well as the short vowel sounds we've learned in previous lessons. We're going to once again work on another shared text, and when we're done reading, we will answer questions about that text. Okay, some quick review of all of the letter sounds and spellings we have learned. A, we have letter A, I, letter I, A, letter E, A, letter U, A, letter O. For K, we have both C and K, C being the more common. For G, we have the letter G. For f, letter F, m, V, O, letter L, letter H, T is for T, D, we have letter D, P, we have letter P, and B, we have letter B. Then yesterday's lesson we looked at some um, sounds with two letters, th is TH for thin, V is also TH, like in them. We have N for nut, N for NG, SH, SH, and CH, commonly spelled with CH. Okay, our first consonant sound for today is letter S. We can see by our power bar, this is a very common spelling when you hear S, letter S, sun. Add that to our chart. Great job. Okay, our next letter is Z for zip. And if you look at our power bar, it's not a very common way to spell Z. So often when you hear the Z sound in a word, it will be a different spelling. But today we're looking at Z. The beginning of a word, a Z. Okay, then we have M. Mm, like in mad. Mm. Most often will be spelled with the letter M. Okay, R, red. Most commonly spelled with the letter R. One single R will give us R for red. Okay, next we have W for wet. Spelled with the letter W. The most common spelling is W for wet. Okay, then we have in the word yes, the y sound, most commonly spelled with the y. Y, yes. Okay, tax, x, x, x. X is spelled with an x. Okay, then we have qu, as in quit, Q, U. It actually sounds like other letters, but qu is Q, U. Add that to our chart. Okay, now we're on to the individual code chart page. Here are all of the letter sounds and spellings we did today. S, common spelling is S, Z, Z. W, W, Y, Y, X, X, Q, Q, U, R, R, and M, Mad, M. That is in your individual code chart on page pages three through six. Continue to add to the chart you've already started with red. Okay, our next part. We are going to spell out and chain some words. So the word to get us started is rat. Let's sound it out. R, A, T, rat. Good. So to spell it, R, R, A, A, T, T, R, A, T, rat. Good job. Gonna get rid of the T, add the N G combination. R A N G. 
rang, rang, rang. Hit the phone, rang. Get rid of the A, add an I for ring. K -ing King. Now with an S, sing. Now with a Z, zing. W, wing, like a bird might have a wing. Get rid of the G, we have win. And that's our last word for this chain, W-I-N, W-I-N, win. Okay, our next word, yes, Y-S, yes. We have a Y, Y, A, E, S, S, yes. Get rid of the S, change it to a T, Y, E, T, yet. Change the Y to an S, S, A, T. Set. Change the E to an I. Sit. S it. Sit. Change the T to an X. S X. Six. The number six. And change that. S to an M. Our last word. M X. Mix. Great job. Mix. Okay. Now it will be our portion of the lesson where we do dictation. So again, you'll need your notebook or paper to write on, your individual code chart. You're going to listen to the word I say. I'll read it in a sentence. Say it again. You'll write it down and we'll go over it. It will be a very similar setup. The other three words will be on the Google form slide at the end. Okay, our word, nut. I saw a squirrel eating a big nut. Nut. Okay, great job. Now, let's see how we did. N, a, t, nut. N, n, a, u, t, t. Nut. Great job. Good job using your resources and remembering all of our letter sounds and spellings. Okay, now it's time for our reading portion. So we've stayed and listened to Kate and her grandma and her nan as they went camping with Jake and Max. They roasted hot dogs and set up the tent. The kids found a dinosaur bone. They went to the state college and showed the expert. And he said it was from a T-Rex. So let's see what happens in today's story, The Big Dig. Today we're going to find out what happens while they, the kids, are at the big dig. Okay, our vocabulary. Scrape, which means to be removed from a surface by rubbing with something sharp or rough. So you might scrape, you know, a sticker off of something or you might scrape the wall. Scrape. A site. A place where something happens or where something will be built. So. The bones that are on the, the dig site. Plaster. A paste made of sand, lime, and water that becomes hard when it dries. And a crane. A machine that has a tall arm that can move up and down or around in a circle to lift and move heavy objects. In the picture, you can see the crane. This arm can go up and down can kind of move around and it can help them move heavy objects. A lab is a place where a scientist or a doctor works, short for laboratory. Okay, time to read. As always, I will read the whole time. If I'm pointing to you, try to join with us and you can read the whole thing as well. The Big Dig. Start off reading together. When we went back to the cliff, the bone man was there with some helpers. They had scraped the side of the cliff to expose a lot of the T-Rex. So, will you dig out all of the bones here on site? Asked Nan. No, said the bone man. The next step will be to cut this cliff up into large blocks of rock. Then, 
we will wrap the blocks up in plaster. The plaster will keep the bones from cracking. Then we will use a large crane to set the blocks on trucks. Then the trucks will take them to my lab. Once the blocks are there, we will start digging the bones out of the blocks. So they've cut back part of the cliff to see all the different T-Rex bones. They're going to cut it into big blocks, wrap it in plastic to keep it safe, and then transport that back to the lab where the guys will start digging carefully to get all the bones out. What sort of tools do you use for that? asked Nan. We use tools a lot like the ones dentists use on teeth. Brushes and sharp picks. Kate and I used forks, said Max. How long will it take to get all of the bones out of the rocks? Jake asked. Well, said the bone man, we've got a lot to do. It may take some time. Will you be finished by the end of the summer, I asked. No, said the bone man. You and Max will have to visit next summer and perhaps the summer after that. So, said the bone man, have you kids picked out a name for this T-Rex? Remember, they were going to be able to name the T-Rex they found. Yes, I've picked one, I said. All of the diggers stopped digging and looked at me. I said, this T-Rex will be named Max, or if you like, T-Max. All of the men cheered. Max and Kate smiled with pride. Okay, so for the big dig, our first question that we're going to answer together. Why did Kate, why, excuse me, why did Nan, Kate, and Max go to the cliff? They went to the cliff to have lunch. They went to the cliff to swim. They went to see the Bowen Man and his helpers. Okay, so as always, read all of your choices. Look back in the story if you have to, to help you remember what happened. When we went back to the cliff, the Bowen Man was there with some helpers. And that's when they saw what they were doing. There's nothing in here about swimming or about lunch. So they did not go to have lunch. They did not go to swim. They went to see the Bowen Man and his helpers who were digging out the dinosaur. Okay, the rest of your questions will be on Google Forms for Skills Unit 1, Lesson 5, as well as the dictation portion where you will type the words that you hear me say in the video on the slide on the form. And you can still use your individual code chart to help you with spelling. Here's some of what we've done so far. And some more. And today's. Great work today, and remember to finish your Google Forms. Good job!